And then they always say this, and this fucker spins me out. Well, I don't expect an Australian to understand freedom. <laughs> what are you talking about? You constantly say freedom all the time. Like, you're the, oh, we're so free. We fight for freedom, freedom, freedom. Come to the Freedom Lounge at the airport. Like, fucking what? <laughs> you know when you're singing the national anthem at the baseball and the, and the person holds the note free for a little bit longer than they should until all you Americans fucking come in your pants? <laughs> for the land of the free. Oh, 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 we're so free. Freedom this, freedom that, free, free, free. Now, I hate to break it to you because I don't think many of you know this. There are 92 free countries on the planet. Democratic free countries. You are one of them. Every single English-speaking country on earth is free, and most of the <laughs> countries are also free. <laughs> now, you're very free. Don't get upset. <laughs> and I have a wonderful... I love America, I truly do. I, uh, I live here and I love it. I have nothing against... And none of the things I'm about to mention affect you it would affect me in any way, right? You may not be the freest place on earth. <laughs> Just a quick example, um, out of the 92 free countries on the planet, you uh, have the highest rate of incarceration. 1% of your adult population is in prison. That's double that of the country that comes in second, which is South Africa. If you've ever been to South Africa, South Africa's fucked. <laughs> so you're double that of South Africa. So statistically, in the land of the free, you have the least amount of free people. <laughs> This is a super simple one, super simple argument. In Holland, you can smoke weed whilst fucking a hooker in front of a cop. <laughs> How dare Holland not be called the land of the free? <laughs> Do you honestly think you're competing with Holland? In Canada, just last year, they legalized assisted suicide for the sick, which I believe is the biggest freedom of them all. It's your life. No government, no religious group should ever tell you when you get to check out. If you're a pro-life person, good. Do it with your life, not mine. Okay? Now, and also, I don't think they've thought about it. I don't think there's even the most evangelical Christian who's a burn victim just like hanging on to life support in a hospital just, <laughs> I feel so free. <laughs> and I'm so glad they're doing it in Canada because if I ever had an assisted suicide, I wanted to be a Canadian doctor. <laughs> I want some guy rocking up to my house like, okay, you're ready then. Uh, <laughs> So I hear that someone's given up on life, eh? <laughs> All right, let me just set up my little death machine here and I'll, uh, I'm going to put this in your vein and you're going to be so sleepy so soon, I tell you what there. <laughs> in Australia, maybe 20 years ago, maybe 20, they, they legalized prostitution. They thought it would be the downfall of our society, but it really wasn't. It was a great thing. Like in Sydney, where I grew up, the, the streets always had hookers walking around everywhere. There was needles, and it was a very seedy city in some parts, you know. And then what they did was they legalised prostitution, and they moved all the hookers into brothels. And because they moved into brothels, all the girls had to be tested for STDs. And, they, and then the guys 
They could see the test as they go in. So it was safer for the men, but it was also safer for the women because what they did was they put security in these brothels. So if you showed up like a drunk idiot, they wouldn't let you in. Or if you got a bit aggro, they'd kick you the fuck out. So the girls were safer, the men were safer. Human trafficking was all but eliminated and uh, tax revenue went up and the divorce rate dropped by 8%. <laughs> There is no downside to legalized prostitution. Now, in America, prostitution is illegal unless you film it. <laughs> How is that possible? How the fuck is that possible? How do you have the biggest porn industry in the world and you still have illegal prostitution? Because it is legal to pay a woman for sex, but your friend Dave has to be in the corner with a camera. <laughs> and Dave has to film it. And Dave has to promise to put it on the internet because if Dave doesn't put it on the internet, then a crime has been committed. And that girl can be 18 years old. And then she can be surrounded by 10 men that she barely knows. And they can all jack off onto her face until she's glazed with cum. And no crime has been committed. But in America, and only in America, She's too young to have a beer. If anyone deserves a beer, in the land of the free, the home of the brave, it's the girl with 10 loads of cum in her face. In fact, if you have 10 loads of cum in your face, you should get free drinks wherever you go. You seem like a fun girl. Or a... Heavy sleeper.